Today's story was written by Reddit user Random3x. Clixus looked over the latest report from Species Resources, informing him that another human on the crew had shown bonding behaviours with other crew members. This was, of course, against company policy. The last thing they needed was someone being distracted during an emergency because they were focusing on their bonded being rather than their duty. To help resolve the issue and further prevent any possible repeat, he had called in the head of the human resources representative. A short buzz rang from near his door to indicate the human had finally arrived. Peter, it is most efficient that you have arrived, Clixus greeted, glancing up at the human only to gesture to the seat opposite him. Please have a seat. Sure, may I ask what this is about? Yes, it is regarding some questionable behaviour from a crew member that happens to be human. Oh, nothing too bad, I hope. I hope not. We were going to nip it in the bud, as your dirtling expression goes. Here is a SR report. Handing the data slate to the human, Clixus waited for Peter to read the document. Okay, I'm going to need some help here. Can you please elaborate on what is wrong here? What is wrong? Clixus parroted in disbelief. Even a no-wide Vumulon could clearly see the issue. The human has been exhibiting bonding behaviours, which is against SR policies. In response, Peter, to Clixus's surprise, tilted his head. Oh, but there's nothing about sex here. Mating is not the issue here. The issue, Peter, is they have formed an unnecessary bond. Clixus took a deep breath as his glance axe had started to inflate with how annoyed he was becoming. All I see is they became friends. Clixus clapped his hands together, pleased the conversation was finally going in the right direction. Exactly, they have bonded, and it is against policy. You are aware of the special dispositions given to our race, right? Of course, I have read the details. Due to your race's social nature, you would be given some leeway, but this is beyond anything I can allow. All due respect, but how much leeway did you think to give? I had decided to allow human crewmates permission to spend no more than five minutes of their personal time communicating with their own race, not others. That is way too little. We are far more social than you seem to believe. Peter, I will not allow my authority to be questioned here. Have your race control their unnecessary bonding. Otherwise, I will raise the issue with corporate. I can't do that. Clixus felt his gland sacks threaten to inflate again at the flat denial. And why not? Simple, I can't overwrite a human's ability to bond. I think you really are underestimating how quickly a human will bond with anything. I highly doubt that, Peter. I assure you, anything you could find, there will be a human that would bond with it. Seeing Peter continue to refuse to back down, Clixus clicked his tongue as an idea struck him to test Peter's assertion. Very well, how about we put it to the test? I shall prove you wrong with an experiment. An experiment? Yes, an experiment. We shall place... Clixus paused as he looked around his office. This waste paper receptacle placed in the human hab zone, and we will see if they bond with it. In response, much to Clixus's surprise, Peter had a smile grow on his face. May I make a few additions to the bin before we start? What additions? Two simple things. I will draw a pair of eyes on the bin and stick a name tag with a name you may choose onto it. Seeing no way a race could be so intensely social as to bond with a literal inanimate object, Clixus nodded his assent. He watched as Peter, using a pen, draw a pair of large eyes onto the bin's surface. Then he stuck a name tag with Benjamin on it. A name so absurd that Clixus knew no sane creature would form a bond with it. 
So we are agreed you will relax the rules to a more human degree if the human crewmates actually bond with this bin. Yes, but you cannot influence them. If I catch a wind of you revealing the purpose of this experiment, the results will be void, and corporate will know of your obstinance. Peter nodded, only pausing to mutter, kettle and pot. Clixus was currently beside himself with confusion. His grand experiment had entirely backfired on him within a very short period of time. The humans in their hab had taken to affectionately treating the bin with eyes drawn on it, in one instance, pushing a more troublesome crew member who had kicked the bin over. Never in his wildest dreams would he ever have believed humans would bond with an inanimate object. When Peter had shown up looking smug, Clixus had decided to double down. The ship would be making port in the Grumdo system, a system home to hand-sized eight-legged hunter animals. He had made sure to have one brought on for experiments and released it into the human hab. Seeing many of the humans flee, he began to feel vindicated, only for that vindication to collapse when a man from the dirtling landmass known as Australia picked it up and gave it a little pet on its head, saying, Oh, you are a beauty. The human had bonded with a Leboxtema. So, have we proven our point? Clixus gritted his teeth, trying his hardest to stop his gland sacs from inflating. You have made your point. Not only did the human crewmates actually bond with a waste paper receptacle, one of them has taken a Leboxtema as a pet. I shall relax the restrictions on bonding for your people, so may I have the waste paper receptacle returned? In response to the request, Peter suddenly looked uncomfortable. Ah, uh, about that. The crew is rather fond of Benjamin, so we aren't up for returning him. Him? Don't worry, we'll make sure to reimburse the ship's stocks for the bin itself but Benjamin has become a cornerstone of our morale, and to remove him suddenly would deal a blow. I shall repeat, him. I did warn you, we will bond with anything, and anything we bond with, well, they are as good as human. Clixus, my race is so socially coded, we will bond even with fictional people. Now you are pulling my lacquer. No, no, really. There are humans who will read books or watch movies and become socially bonded to characters. There are people that form bonds with fictional characters. Yes, our minds are weird, and after we spend a long time with someone or something, we will form an attachment, just like with Colonel Benjamin or Fleet Admiral Stabby. But in this case, it is time we spend in our imaginations. And that is sufficient for a bond to form? Clixus asked, still utterly baffled. Tribalism can even emerge from people who bond with rival fictions. Wait, wait, wait. Your race has conflicted over fiction. Well, yeah. Nothing truly violent, though. Just never come between a Star Wars versus Star Trek argument. It will go on and on solely because they have bonded to one over the other. Is it possible to learn such abilities? Not from a Jedi. <laughs> but no, it's all in our genes. Thank <laughs> you.